Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be giving my MLB DraftKings picks uh, for Tuesday, June 13th. Uh, we've got a big main slate today. got 14 games on today's slate. Uh, I'm not going to waste you guys' time, but let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so looking at pitcher, uh, Clayton Kershaw is on this slate today. Um, I looked into his matchup against Cleveland, and it's not that great of a matchup. Uh, Cleveland, they don't hit lefties very well. Uh, they rank towards the bottom of the league when it comes to K-rate versus lefties. Uh, so I don't know if Kershaw has the most upside here. Uh, I'm not going to be playing him today. I actually think he's a little bit too expensive as well. Uh, near 13K, I was expecting a little bit more of a discount. Uh, so I'm not going to be on Kershaw today. I'm going to be looking to go a little bit cheaper. I'm still going to be paying up for um, my two pitchers, though. Uh, so first off, my first pitcher, I'm going to be looking at David Price today. Uh, 10,100 getting a matchup against the Phillies. Uh, I was very high on uh, Rick Porcello yesterday. I actually wound up playing him. Uh, and that did, it didn't look like that's going to turn out very well. I am recording this video at, at about 8.30 Eastern time. Um, Porcello is having a pretty bad game. He's already given up four runs. Uh, so the Phillies definitely got to him. Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen again today. I'm expecting David Price to have a very solid matchup. Uh, he's only pitched three times this year. Uh, in his two games where he did bad, they were terrible matchups. Uh, against the Yankees, he got absolutely crushed for six runs, but that's a terrible matchup. The Yankees have been absolutely killing the ball this year. And then the other matchup where he did bad was against the White Sox. And we know the White Sox hit lefties very well. Uh, and then when Price had a very solid game, he did have that game against a favorable matchup. Uh, Baltimore definitely strikes out a lot versus lefties. And uh, David Price got seven strikeouts in that game, only allowed one run, finished with 29 DraftKings points. Uh, so when Price has had the solid matchup, he's done well. Uh, and if you look at the matchup today against the Phillies, uh, the K rate, it's not that good. Uh, the, Philly, uh, the Phillies don't really strike out them that much versus lefties. Uh, they rank 20th in K rate versus lefties with a 20% K rate exactly. Uh, but you look in average and uh, average in WOBA, their average is not that great against lefties. It ranked towards the bottom of the league. Uh, they rank 23rd in average versus lefties uh, with a 233 average. And then when you look at their WOBA against lefties, it's not that great either. Uh, they rank right in the middle of the pack. They rank 17th uh, versus lefties uh, with a 304 WOBA. Uh, so this team doesn't hit lefties that well. Uh, they do strike out at a decent rate, striking out 20% of the time. Uh, I'm expecting David Price to have a very solid game today. Uh, right now, as I'm recording this video, the Phillies do have a very low implied run total. Uh, they're only implied to score 3.7 runs. Uh, David Price is a huge favorite today, a minus 242 favorite. Uh, so he has a great chance to get a win, which is always helpful. We'll give you those four extra DraftKings points. Uh, so I really like David Price today as my SP1, and I'm going to be locking him in, uh, 10,100. Uh, and then for my SP2, I'm going to be looking to the mid-range. A uh, guy I really like, guy I, real, I feel really good, uh, really good, really confident in today, uh, Jason Vargas, 8,300, getting a matchup against the Giants. Uh, this is also a very good matchup for Vargas. Uh, the strikeout matchup is decent versus the Giants. Uh, the Giants rank 19th uh, in K-rate versus lefties, right above the Phillies. Uh, the 20.3% K-rate versus lefties. And the hitting matchup is pretty good. Uh, the, the Giants don't hit lefties that well. Uh, they rank middle of the pack in average versus lefties. Uh, they rank 18th with a 241 average so far this year versus lefties. Uh, but you look at Woba, they they rank at the towards the bottom of the league, uh, second to last uh, in Woba versus lefties uh, with a 284 Woba, which ranks 29th. Uh, so the Giants don't hit lefties well at all. Vargas has already faced his team once this year, and he had a very solid game. Uh, he pitched seven innings against them, threw a shutout. Had nine strikeouts, finished with 35 DraftKings points. Uh, so Vargas has already seen this team once this year and done very well against them. Uh, I'm expecting another good game from Vargas. I think he gets you at least 20 to 25 DraftKings points here. Uh, he's going to be pitching in San Francisco. Uh, their ballpark is one of the, the most pitcher-friendly parks in the game. Uh, I really like Jason Vargas today as my SP2. And at just the 8300 I really like that price tag as well. So I'm going to be locking Jason Vargas in as my SP2. When you plug in Price and Vargas as your two pitchers, that leaves you an average of 3,900 remaining per player, uh, which you can definitely work around, find a couple value plays, um, build around those two pitchers. Uh, but for my three hitters, uh, first off, I'm going to be looking at second base here. Uh, there's a guy that I really like here, a guy that I think is way too cheap. Uh, and that's Daniel Murphy at 4,300, getting a matchup against Ari Dickey. I uh, absolutely love this spot for Murphy, and I love this spot for the Nationals. Uh, Dickey has definitely been a guy I've stacked against multiple times. Sometimes he burns me. Sometimes he just gets absolutely uh, destroyed. I think this is going to be one of those spots where Murph, or where Dickey does really bad. I'm expecting the Nationals to put up some runs. Uh, so I absolutely love Daniel Murphy today. I love the price tag as well at just 4300 uh, That seems way too cheap for this matchup. Uh, Murphy, he's just a terrific hitter. Uh, he's just been crushing the ball this year, batting 335. Already had 10 home runs. Uh, and in his last four games, he's been pretty solid, putting up 11, 8, 
eight and zero DraftKings points. Uh, so aside from his last game against Texas, Murph has been very consistent. Uh, we know he's one of the most consistent hitters in the league. I'm expecting a very solid game from Murphy. Uh, he might even have a chance to get a home run. Uh, Murph does have really good power. Already had 10 home runs this year. So I really like Daniel Murphy today. Uh, second base at just 4,300. Uh, at third base, there's another mid-range guy I like here. Uh, that's Kyle Seager at 4,100 getting a matchup against Kyle Gibson. I uh, love this spot for Seager as well. Uh, he's going to be getting the platoon advantage. He's going to be getting the righty-lefty matchup, which is al always favorable for him. Uh, Seager does hit righties very well. Uh, and Seager also has been very consistent as of late. Uh, in his last four games, he's put up 6, 14, 10, and 0 DraftKings points. Uh, so aside from his last game against Toronto, uh, Seager has also been very consistent lately. Uh, we know Kyle Gibson is definitely a pitcher that we can pick on. Uh, Kyle Gibson's not a great pitcher, so definitely like some of these Mariners lefties, even the righties as well. Uh, definitely stack up the Mariners today. I think they're a great stack. Should be able to put up runs easily on Kyle Gibson. Uh, so I like getting some exposure to that offense today with Kyle Seager, uh, just 4,100. Uh, and then for my final play, I'm going to be looking at an outfield, uh, looking at a value play, a guy that I uh, took yesterday. Uh, that's Mark Trumbo at just 3,400, getting a matchup against Derek Holland. Uh, team BVP, they're going to love this play. Uh, Mark Trumbo has great BVP uh, versus Derek Holland. It's also a really a really big sample size as well. Uh, uh, Trumbo has seen Holland 47 times. Uh, and in, those, in those 47 times, Trumbo has had 15 hits. Uh, eight of those hits have been extra base hits, and five of them have been home runs. Uh, so in the 47 times that uh, Trumbo has seen Derek Holland, he has homered five times. Uh, those 15 hits in the 47 at-bats, has resulted in a 319 average, so Trumbo's hitting him very well. I'm expecting another solid game from Trumbo today. Uh, he's going to be getting the platoon advantage, getting the lefty-righty matchup. Uh, Derek Holland, he's just not a good pitcher. He gives up home runs. Trumbo, great power hitter. Uh, I'm expecting a very solid game from Mark Trumbo. And at just 3,400, he looks like great value at outfield. Uh, so you can definitely target him for a value play at outfield at just 3,400. Uh, so these are my top five plays for tonight, guys. I went with David Price, Jason Vargas, Daniel Murphy, Kyle Seager, and Mark Trumbo. When you plug these five guys in your lineup, that leaves you over 3,900 remaining per player, close to 4K, uh, which you can easily work around. Uh, if there's some value plays you like, you can plug in some value plays and then uh, fit in some other guys as well. Uh, but now I'm going to give you guys other players that you can roster each position. I'm going to give you some guys that I like uh, that I didn't mention in my top five plays. Uh, so other pitchers that I like, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I do like Clayton Kershaw today. I'm not going to tell you not to or not to play him. Uh, Kershaw, he's the best pitcher in the league. He's the most consistent. I could easily see him, see him having a great matchup today. Uh, but there are just other options that I like that I feel better, feel more confident in. So I'm just not going to be looking at Kershaw today, especially not at that price tag. Uh, but mid-range pitchers I like. Uh, I definitely like Marco Estrada today for tournaments. Uh, T Tampa Bay does strike out a ton versus righties, uh, but they also hit righties very well, so that's definitely a risky play. Uh, but I could easily see Estrada having great upside here, uh, so you can definitely consider him at the mid-range. And then another mid-range pitcher I like is Joe Ross. Uh, catcher, some catchers I like today. I like Wellington Castillo. I like Matt Wieters, and I like Martin Maldonado. Uh, first base, some first baseman I like today. I like Anthony Rizzo. Um, then for value, uh, you can target Matt Adams uh, and Will Myers. At second base, towards the top, I like Robbie Cano, uh, I like Jonathan Scope, and then if you need a value play at second base, I like Wilmer Flores. Uh, anytime you get Flores versus a lefty, definitely consider, consider Wilmer Flores. Uh, he does have pretty solid BVP against John Lester, so I like Flores for value at second base. Uh, third base, some guys I like at third base. Uh, definitely consider Chris Bryant today. Uh, he is very cheap at just 4300 That does seem way too cheap for him, uh, so I like Chris Bryant at third base. And I also like Manny Machado as well. And then, like I said, I like Kyle Seager as well at uh, third base. You can definitely target those three guys. Uh, shortstop, towards the top, I like Didier Gregorius. Uh, at the mid-range, I like Kyle, uh, Corey Seager. Excuse me. And then for value, I like Angelton Simmons. And then at the outfield, uh, some outfielders I like today besides all these guys up top. Aaron Judge, Charlie Blackman, uh, Bryce Harper, all these guys are great plays if you can definitely if you can try and fit them in. Uh, but other outfielders I like besides those top guys, uh, I really like Corey Dickerson today. I like Ender Enciarte, uh, Adam Jones, and if you need a value play outfield, I uh, absolutely love Malik Smith. Uh, Malik Smith has been killing it uh, ever since he joined back with the Rays. Not sure if he came off the DL or not, uh, but ever since Malik Smith moved into the starting lineup, uh, he's just been killing it. He's on, He's been on fire as of late, uh, so definitely consider Malik Smith for value at outfield. Uh, but yeah, guys, those are some other picks I like at each position. 
Uh, you guys can use my five plays, use some of the picks that I gave, maybe build your own lineup. Um, or if you want to get my lineups, then be sure to follow me on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. Uh, my lineups are $5 a day, or you can get a week of lineups for $25. Uh, so be sure to message me on Twitter if you are interested in that. Uh, I do post all my results on Twitter, so if you want to see my lineup results, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, if you never want to miss out on any videos, uh, please be sure to scroll down to where the subscribe button is. Uh, there is a bell icon. If you click that bell icon, that will notify you every time I upload. Uh, so if you never want to miss out on any videos, please be sure to do that, guys. I really appreciate it. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Uh, good luck tonight, guys.